one of my favorite actors is Emma Thompson. And in an interview recently, she tackled the subject near and dear to my heart. To hear people talk about content makes me feel like the stuffing inside of a sofa cushion. She continued, it's just rude, actually. It's, a, it's just a rude word for creative people. Love how she just wades right in. Clear communication, effective communication, is more than just the words that you choose. It's the context for why you choose those words and what you know or guess about how your choices will land with your readers or listeners. Now, how do you take your listeners or readers into account when you craft a message? And I mean craft a message, not just hitting the keyboard or swiping a message into the world wide web, because it does matter. You know, there are so many dimensions that feed into our identities, age, family, geography, faith, profession, the list can be pretty long. And it can be a bit of a puzzle to try to address all of these influences, especially when you're trying to get a message out to a large group. And you wouldn't be trying to get the message out, I assume, if it didn't matter, you know, the message. So just take a deep breath and consider the cost of getting it wrong or even terribly wrong, and whether or not you want to have to pay that cost. As many of my colleagues in the project management community will recognize, it's a simple risk management assessment. Because if you don't care enough to take them into consideration when you're sending a message, why should they care about when they receive the message? This video was brought to you by the Leadership Driven Project Management Academy. Please join us on Facebook. I'm Kimi Hirosu Zimski. Thanks for joining us.